What are you talking about? Too young, if anything. Like by kindergarten, they're five years old. That's 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 five prime years of sexualizing that they've missed out on. They're telling us. Uh, last week we played some clips first shared and reported by Chris Rufo of a training session from the far-left LGBT extremist group, the Mazzoni Center. And if you remember, this was a conference attended by Philadelphia teachers and uh, also by kids. I mean, minors were attended, invited to attend this conference as well. And there was a lot of depraved stuff. We don't have to go through all of it, but you can go back and watch that show if you want to, some examples. Uh, they had all kinds of, you know, they had people presenting information about, uh, you know, sex toys and everything else, like to teachers for some reason. And now we have more footage. Um, this is from Rachel Simon. She's the woman in the video. She's a trans-affirming, quote-unquote, psychoanalyst. And I want you to listen to what she says. Listen. I am Rachel Simon. I use she, her pronouns. I am a psychotherapist, educator, consultant, and author. Um, I run my private practice here in Philadelphia. And I am the author of the Everybody Book, which is a an LGBTQ inclusive um, sex ed resource for seven to twelve year olds. I love that you said that this this talk specifically was geared towards teens. But you're so right that sexuality education starts the minute you're born. I mean, we have we're born with bodies. These bodies are cool. We want to touch our bodies. We're learning about um, privacy and you know being sexual in public from a very early age. Drop the cons of talking about sexuality with parents and getting our sexual info from parents in the chat um, because we're getting some of that embarrassment, awkwardness. Those can be cons. They don't want to talk about it. Uh, homophobic and transphobic ideas from parents can absolutely be a problem. <laughs> Inescapable judgment. Yeah, bigoted, misinformed parents who have no idea how to talk about gay sex. They're biased. If they are religious, it can be very difficult to get into the conversation with them. Yeah, sometimes you can get stonewalled out of information. So psychotherapist there. Sorry, sorry, I misgendered her as a psychoanalyst. She's a psychotherapist. And uh, what's her message? Well, don't bother talking to your parents. You know, they're religious and bigoted. Don't, don't, don't bother talking to them. Uh, but sexuality education begins at birth, she says. Now, I have to keep banging this drum here because uh, it's important to point out where this stuff comes from. And that is... And all of the sex ed stuff comes from Alfred Kinsey originally, and that is Alfred Kinsey to a T. That children are sexual from birth, literally from infancy. And as you're familiar with, if you listen to the show, uh, and we've talked about before some of the horrific details around that pervert's life, uh, he, he actually tried to prove through sexual experiments on, on young babies that babies are, quote, sexual from birth. Um, and uh, so sexual from birth, so we're, we're going to do sexuality education for infants now, I guess. See, we're, we're all, we're, we're buying the eight ball because we're sitting here saying, what do you mean? What, do, do sex education in kindergarten? This is ridiculous. That's way too young. But what the left is saying is that, no, that's too late. What are you talking about too young? If anything, like by kindergarten, they're five years old. That's, that's, that's five prime years of sexualizing that they've missed out on, they're telling us. And then she also says, she gets more and more disturbingly specific. She says that uh, from a very young age, we're learning about being sexual in public. That's what, what are you talking about? But of course, nobody, you know, th these people, they're always running unopposed, as it were. And uh, you're only ever going to hear them talking into a camera on a, in a conference like this, or on stage in front of like mind, a like-minded audience of degenerates and perverts, um, they're never going to put themselves in a position where there's going to be any follow-up questions. So they could just say stuff like this. And no, because if there was a follow-up question, then the follow-up would be, what? No, no, back up a second. Little kids being sexual in public? What the hell are you saying? Explain that to me. Is that what you think? When you see kids out in public, that's what you think? they're doing? Go ahead, explain. 
And we know whatever the explanation is, it's not going to, there's, there's, there's no way to make that any less depraved. And this again is, uh, this was a training session, at least in part for teachers. This is what teachers are being told. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.